What if I told you there was proof of plans to have a modern room for your playable character inside of Pokemon Legends Arceus? And thanks to hacks and cheats, we're able to check it out. What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and today we're going to be discussing this brand new find inside of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Like always, I treat all of my videos like a discussion, so please leave your thoughts and theories about this in the comment section below. And it should go without saying that this video may contain story spoilers for the game. So if you haven't completed the main story in Arceus, hit that save for later button and come back and join the discussion later once you roll credits. However, let's dive in. Now, credit where credit's due. This is making its way to us by a couple of people, but most notable, and I think the first person to post it up on YouTube is Faz. Faz, I'm probably saying that completely wrong, sorry. But this is their original video. The video starts off also by crediting another person. It says, Room Found by Deep Game Res on Twitter. Please go to Twitter, give them a follow because they are posting a ton of clips that I'm also gonna talk about in this video. Nukrum on YouTube. Again, ton of clips that we're also gonna talk about in this video. It says, check them out for a more in-depth video soon. It says, this map has no music. I just added it. I took off the music because I want to put my own music for this video. It says, unused present day room found in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So let's hit play on this. So there's many theories about what exactly is going on here. First, and maybe the most accurate theory of what's going on here is that this is just a leftover room from a cutscene that, well, got cut. This is clearly looks like the protagonist's room with the Nintendo Switch by the TV, which is something we've seen similar in other Pokemon games with Nintendo systems being in the protagonist's room playing on a TV with a bed, a PC, 
posters on the wall also the room has a ceiling that is at an angle which will be fitting for a room that's placed on a top floor of a house just like every other protagonist's room in pokemon games the room that you are living in is always on the top floor except for sword and shield i believe you were on the first floor But I believe that this could have been a room that the game intro cutscene could have started in, having Arceus wake us up and pulling us out of the bed into the past, into the Hisuian region at the very beginning of the game. And if you think that sounds dark, I think that's probably why it also got cut from the game. Because even though the story does contain a couple of dark things, it doesn't get too shy about diving into the dark side. Having Arceus pull you out from your room as a child from your bed might have been going just a little bit tad bit too far so just having us falling out of a blank hole in the sky kind of one fit the setting of what was going on in the game as well as made it look like we were more of a clean slate than rather a child who had their own life with their parents etc etc now theory two the clickbait theory i'm seeing a lot of people throwing this around all day and you're probably seeing it too by all your favorite youtubers and that's of course that this room is somehow being tied to dlc while i do think we will get dlc for pokemon legends arceus i mean why not there's the game is selling through the roof and they're gonna need something to sell us in holiday 2022 later this year why stop the growth of pokemon legends arceus with a brand new game this started this holiday season when dlc will be a quicker turnaround and give the team who's potentially working on the next mainline competitive pokemon game the gen 9 games more time with that being said i don't believe that this room is kind of tied to pokemon legends arceus dlc like we've been going into the future to me the future setting will kind of throw off the whole vibe of the game while i do think however it'll be the coolest thing ever if we were able to see the what the future or modern day will look like inside of pokemon legends arceus with this type of new catching style and battle mechanics and the way we have to fill out a pokedex with just living breathing cities and not just this one little you know jubilee city which is kind of just like a town or a settlement it doesn't feel like a complete pokemon world inside of pokemon legends arceus and i feel like if they were to do a dlc in present day and then add a present day city inside of the game again it, it, it will kind of throw it off i think what we're gonna get for dlc inside of pokemon legends arceus is just gonna be a brand new area inside of the hisuian region probably like an off island or place on the map that we have yet to discover or yet to explore that will introduce probably like 40 to 50 new pokemon also include tons of pokemon that are already available in the hisuian region spread it across the map and i think that will be fine as long as it does add new story elements as well as new legendaries or past legendaries to the game for us to catch and fill out a pokedex with again leaning on the fact that it the room is in modern day so that the world must be in modern day to me it's kind of like i don't i don't see that as a possibility i think that this room is here on the map because of the fact that this is where they like kind of left all the unused stuff and if it was part of my initial theory about being a part of a cutscene, then it will kind of fall under that same camp of unused stuff so they threw it in here not to say that this area itself cannot be part of the dlc I, I, again if it is and from what we are seeing here of them fleshing out this area we could see that one it's huge it's massive just like all the other playable areas that we have but also it has the same quote-unquote vibe where there's grass there's hills there's mountain it kind of falls in the same book like if this place was in the Husuian region already and as much as i would want to go into the future or modern day and see how this game will look in a full city i think if they are going to do something like that we are going to get a brand new game rather than just a dlc slap on with a new city and have all this upgrades because i, I again it doesn't fit the vibe 
for this being a legends game and legends is like you know folklore and stuff of myths and stuff like that stuff that happened millions and millions of years ago so it kind of will defeat the purpose if we just like magically went to an area and it was modern day i don't know maybe that's just me moving on to theory three that i also seen get thrown around is that maybe this was supposed to be brilliant diamond and shiny pearl because of the fact that this is quote unquote still the Sino region or this is like the prequel to those games that brilliant diamond shiny pearl started as pokemon legends arceus and as the ambition for this game grew and grew they kind of switched it up and said no we kind of need a quote-unquote core rpg experience so they hired luca who did brilliant diamond and shiny pearl who also worked on pokemon home to come out do brilliant diamond and shiny pearl while they worked on pokemon legends arceus and hence why those games came out relatively close to each other. This room is probably, again, a gem of what was going to be inside of Brilliant Diamond and Shiny Pearl, but then it got turned into Pokemon Legends Arceus and this just got left there on the cutting room floor, not meant for the public or players to access. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think it's something that we were supposed to see in a cutscene that got cut? Do you think this is gonna be DLC? Or do you think this was supposed to be Brilliant Diamond, Shiny Pearl, and then that game got turned into something else as well as this one? Let's talk about it in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I answer all comments, so let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day talking pokemon call of duty fortnite wherever i feel like dropping the vibes on i drop it here on the channel so again consider hitting that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as moving the videos and to recommend this so other people can check out the videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one